Fun fact, the iconic theme music, the William Tell Overture, was not originally composed for the show, but was chosen for its dramatic and adventurous qualities. The show's producers selected this piece to accompany the Lone Ranger's thrilling rides and action sequences, and it quickly became synonymous with the character. Another interesting aspect of the production is that the series was filmed in various locations across California, particularly in the California desert and the San Fernando Valley, to capture the authentic Western landscape. The show's use of real locations helped create a more immersive experience for viewers, contributing to the show's popularity and authenticity. with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. This is a story of one of the most mysterious characters to appear in the early days of the West. He was a fabulous individual, a man whose presence brought fear to the lawless and hope to those who wanted to make this frontier land their home. He was known as the Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger and Tonto are riding hard and fast toward the town of Harrisville. There, behind prison bars, are two of the most vicious criminals of the West. I'll tell you, I'm scared, Biff. They're going to try us for every crime in the book. It'll be a necktie party for sure. Yeah, we've gotten out of tight spots before. Yeah, but this time we're wanted for murder, not for just robbery or forgery. <laughs> Three murders, to be exact. Yeah, when we get to El Paso, we're through. If we get to El Paso. What do you mean? They can't try us for murder if we're not there for the trial. We'll be there, all right. The sheriff told me they'll get this Lone Ranger fellow to deliver us special. Ah, uh, the sheriff's a fool. Hector's. Have you ever had a real bad stomach ache? Stomach ache? What do you mean? Never mind. Do like I tell you. Now, you lay down on this bunk and start yelling and moaning. Act like your stomach was killing you. I don't get you, Ben. Oh, never mind. Do like I tell you. Sure. Oh, oh, my stomach. Oh, what are you two hombres up to oh, now? My pal's dying, can't you see? His stomach water, hurts something fierce. Water, awful, You're probably poisoned this food. I ain't poisoned any food. You hombres are going to die, all right, but it'll be from a rope around your neck. Oh, oh, don't just stand there talking. Do something. Can't you see he's in terrible pain? Oh, I don't see the one of you for a minute. Water. Oh, oh. Gee, Sheriff, ain't you a little bit human? All he wants is a little water. That's the least you can do for him. All right, give me the cup. Thanks, Sheriff. You're a good. Hey, Cactus. Grab his keys. Oh, gee, Sheriff, I'm surprised at you falling for an old trick like that. Oh. Hello, Tano. Hello, oh, Ranger. You come for the... So where'd they go? Your prisoners escaped, Sheriff. How did it happen? Old stomach ache trick, and I fell for it. You're not the first. Them fool many, Sheriffs. We'll have to catch them before they get too far. How can you? You don't even know where they're headed. They'd have to steal horses, and horses leave tracks. You all right now, Sheriff? Yeah, I'm all right. Come on, Tonto. Fancy track here, Kimoselli. Can't tell which one theirs. One of those horses they stole was a chestnut mare with a broken shoe. Ah, clear track. Go that way. Good. Let's go. This is the end of our trail. What do you mean, that cabin? What are you been leading us up here for? Who lives there? Some old galoot been keeping to himself for the last 20 years. Sort of a hermit, name of old Joe Peters. Heard about him the last time I was up this way. Sure looks like he lives there alone. Hasn't a friend in the world. The only people ever see him are strangers passing by. Folks say he's got a nice, tidy sum of gold hit somewhere, too. Gold? I think we could use that. <laughs> he's got two things we can use more important right now. His cabin and his name. His name? How are you going to use that? You'll see.
Mine's six. Hold your horses. I'm coming. Six alive. What do you two want? We're lost, mister, and just about half starved. Reckon you could give us some grub and send us on our way? Sure. Come on in. Have a seat. Today, I'd do anything for anybody. Something special happening today? There sure is. My sister Abigail is coming out to live with me. I thought for a minute she was her. Your sister? What's so exciting about that? For sakes alive, why, she's coming clear from St. Louis. Hadn't seen her in over 30 years. <laughs> it's a long time. Sure is, mister. Is, uh, is she coming alone? Yep. She's a widow now. And I got to figure that this place would be a lot homier if I had a female to help me share living here. Just finished painting for her. You're right, old timer. A home ain't nothing without a woman in it. Of course, you're going to need more than this cabin to share with her if you're going to take care of her proper. Oh, I got plenty. Don't worry about that. Been saving up for years. Me and Abby won't want for nothing. See? She sent me this picture last year. Say, that's quite a filly. She's a bossy-looking female, if you ask me. Well, my age, a man needs a woman to be bossing him around. Keep him out of trouble. Did, uh, did you send her a picture of you? Me? Shucks, no. What? <laughs> I never had a picture took in my life. Well, then uh, how is she going to know you're really her brother? Gosh. I'll be waiting right here for her, just like I wrote a would. That's how. Say, friend, you, you sure ask a lot of questions. That's right, mister. I got just one more question to ask. Where do you keep your gold here? Gold? What do you mean? I ain't got no gold. Don't lie to me. Where is it? Oh, that's your game, is it? Well, you can do whatever you want to me, but I'll never tell you. I'm saving that gold for me and Abby. All right. I got no time to waste asking questions. I'll get her to tell me. Get out of those clothes. Question one, how do the outlaws escape jail? One, they melt the bars. Two, they use the stomach ache trick. Three, they use a file. Question 1. How do the outlaws escape jail? 1. They melt the bars. 2. They use the stomach ache trick. 3. They use a file. The answer, they use the stomach ache trick to fool the guard. Six alive. I look more like old Joe than old Joe yourself. You won't get away with it. I've got other ways of identifying myself. Yeah? Well, they won't do you any good where you're going. Come on. Get moving. Outside. Over there, the cliff. Mister, that's far enough. What am I supposed to do now? Dive off? That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Only I'm going to give you a little help. You didn't give that old glue a chance, Biff. It ain't him I'm thinking of. It's me. Now, you savvy what I mean when I say I'm going to use his name? After I shave this mustache off, who'll know the difference? Yeah, but suppose someone finds his body down there. The man I just shot was Biff Baker, wanted for murder. From now on, Cactus, I'm old Joe. See, I gotta hand it to you, Biff. Well, you're the smartest. Say, how about me? I'm still wanted for murder. So you are, Cactus. And an honest guy like old Joe would shoot a killer like you on sight. Say, what's the matter with you? You lost your mind or something? Yeah. Abigail. Gotta pretty up for my sister. Hard to see what fence now came with Abby. Wagon facts rubbed them out. I'm sure they're following this road. Baker and Gleason are headed towards the border. There's no other way than straight ahead. 
Maybe if we pass Wagon, we pick up their trail again. Wagon tracks. I wonder who'd be driving a wagon through this desolate country. Tracks fresh. Wagon not far ahead. Neither are Baker and Gleason. That means there's danger ahead for anybody they meet. Let's go. strange for a bandit. <laughs> Tano and I aren't bandits. We're your friends. Believe me. Well, then, then why are you wearing that mask? <laughs> why are you wearing that hat? <laughs> now, that's a right pert question, young man. <laughs> Looks awful, don't it? Mind telling us where you're headed for? Sure. On the way to my brother's place. Your brother? You mean someone who live around here? And why not, Injun? Didn't you ever hear of Joe Peters? Joe Peters? What does he look like? Well, mister, I can't rightly say. Haven't seen him for 30 years. Reckon he's changed considerable. You haven't run across two other men on this road, have you? You're the first humans I've laid eyes on since I hired this darn rig back in town. Now I can't get this consarn critter away from the water hole. You get in the wagon. <laughs> By the way, ma'am, if you do see two men up ahead on the road, you keep that gun of yours handy. They might be real bandits. Bye, Antano. Real bandits? Hey, come back here! How can I tell who's real and who's not? The real ones don't wear masks and the not ones do. Maybe that cabin of Miss Abigail's brother. Couldn't have picked a more lonely or a deserted spot. Smoking chimney. Him must be home. Maybe see Baker and Gleason. They must have come this way. Tano, look. Horses look tired. Come plenty long distance. Yes. They've been ridden hard and fast. I'm sure they're Baker and Gleason's horses. You think maybe them in cabin? Someone's in that cabin. If it's them, they'll shoot on sight. They'll leave Silver and scout here. Uh -huh. just in case. Who's there? Open the door. I want to talk to you. Door's open. Come on in. Mind the wet paint. Howdy. Sakes alive. You're masked. What is this? A holdup? No, I'm looking for the men who own those two horses out there. Where are they? Oh, those two. All right, mister. Get your hands up high and keep them that way. You don't need a gun, Mr. Peters. Peters? How'd you know my name? I met your sister down the road a ways. And you probably held her up the same as you was going to do to me. On the contrary. She held me up. Ah, uh, don't try to soft talk me. It's easy enough to see you're a friend of those two crooks. And I'm going to give you the same as I gave them. No, you're not. Drop gun. What the? 
All right. Go ahead, you've got me. Finish me off. Nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Peters. Why, we're not after you. Sex alive. You mean, you mean you're really on side of the law? If I'd have known that, I'd never pulled a gun on you. Never mind about the gun. Just tell us where those men are. <laughs> you sit down at the bottom of the canyon. Bottom of canyon? What happened? Oh, on the repose pets they was. Tried to sneak up on me when I was painting my cabin for Abigail. But I seen them coming. Caught them at the edge of the canyon and shot them both. For all I know, they're still at the bottom. No good weasels. In that case, you've finished our job for us. How do we reach the canyon floor? Well, it's pretty steep around here. Reckon you'll have to head back away. You'd better take a look at those bodies, Tano. Come on. Bye, Mr. Peters. Mr. Peters, good shot. Him plenty dead. Yes, Tano. This one must be Gleason. He fits the description the sheriff gave us. I wonder where the other one is. Look, Kimasabi. This one's still alive. Yes, but still unconscious. Doesn't seem in too bad shape. He was lucky, Tano. That tree must have broken his fall. Me thought Sherry said Biff Baker had mustache. He must have shaved it off. Figured he wouldn't be recognized that way. Uh, what we do with him, Kimasabi? We'll patch him up the best we can. Then we'll take him to town. First, I want to look at that wound. Paddle, look at his hands. Hands me not understand. Look closer. Ah, me see now. You make him as comfortable as you can. I'm going back to the cabin. There's a couple of questions I want to ask old Joe. Question two. What does Biff do to old Joe and his partner? One. Shoots them. Two. Serves them dinner. Three. He gives them flowers. Question two. What does Biff do to old Joe and his partner? One. Shoots them. Two. Serves them dinner. Three. He gives them flowers. The answer, he shoots them both and drops them over a cliff. You go making jokes about my looks. I know I'm no raven beauty. Sonny, I always remembered you as having blue eyes. They're brown, aren't they? Yes, always was. Shows you how wrong you can be, Abby. And your hair is not nearly so gray as you wrote me. Well, I guess I was feeling a little old that day. Say, you remember a lot about my letters. Bet you even remember where I wrote you I keep my gold hid. Why, sure, Joe. If you wrote me something like that, I wouldn't be likely to forget it. Uh, where's Clarabelle? Clarabelle? Yes, the kitten you had here. You wrote me she'd be my very own, a cute little black kitten. Oh, oh yes, Clarabelle. Well, um, uh, Clarabelle died just a couple of days ago, Abby. Poison or something. Never mind about Clarabelle. Let me get your things out of the wagon. All right, Joe. 
Just a minute. Huh? You're not Joe Peters. Why, Abby, what are you talking about? You've been lying all along. Joe Peters does have blue eyes. And he never wrote me where his gold was hid. And there was no kitten named Clarabelle. You're a fool, woman. Nobody outsmarts Biff Baker and gets away with it. Biff Baker? You must be one of those two bandits the masked man was talking about. What did you do with my brother? The same thing I'm going to do with you. You come any nearer and I'll shoot. There's nothing sillier than a female with a gun in her hand she don't know how to use. I tell you, I'll shoot. I got perfect aim. Yeah? Well, then try hitting me. Abigail, that you? You all right? Yes, I'm all right. Come on in. Reach! Hi! I'm sorry, mister. He made me do it. Yeah, and you couldn't have done better. Now, as soon as I get rid of you two and take care of that engine friend of yours, old Joe won't have an enemy in the world. It won't work, Baker. We found old Joe at the bottom of the canyon, and he's still alive. Still alive? What makes you so sure he's old Joe and I'm not? His hands. His hands? That's right. The man who's just finished painting his cabin would have paint on his hands. I don't see any on yours, Baker. That's mighty smart of you, mister. I should have thought of that myself. But now that you warn me, I'll take care of you two, and then I'll finish old Joe for good. Oh, no, you won't. <laughs> Question 3. Does the Lone Ranger help reunite the brother and sister? 1. Yes, he does. No, he does not. Question 3. Does the Lone Ranger help reunite the brother and sister? 1. Yes, he does. No, he does not. The answer, yes, he does. <laughs> 